But we're not going to let these people go through life unscathed. Sarah Huckabee has no right to live a life of no fuss, no muss, after lying to the press, after inciting against the press. These people should be made uncomfortable, and I think that's a life sentence, frankly. Welcome to this week's Wacky Moments of Liberal Expression. Today, we dive into the labyrinth of liberal logic on irony. This all kicks off on Monday on CNN with a very loaded liberal question. Charlie, is there some irony about this playing out and people who are so adamantly pro-life while children are being separated from their parents, even babies are being separated from their parents at the border, and that President Trump is supposedly trying to deal with that, but there are more than 2,000 children who have been separated from their parents and they haven't been reunited and we don't know if they're going to be or how they're going to be because the federal government doesn't seem to have a mechanism for doing so? Well, it's pretty hard to get awfully sanctimonious on the, on the pro-life issue while you're witnessing children being separated by their, uh, from their parents and their families. Uh, it's, it's, it is really quite, a, that's an irony and a real contradiction. Yeah, there is a real contradiction about someone who doesn't see the difference between a baby being separated from its life at a Planned Parenthood clinic and a child being separated and detained from their parents after their parents commit the crime of crossing the border illegally. But saving the lives of babies is something that the liberal media doesn't like to mention. In fact, this week, NBC Nightly News preferred to give coverage to an ad by pro-abortion group NARAL that targets Maine Republican Senator Susan Collins. Reading Trump has been loud and clear in saying he picks Supreme Court justices to end Roe v. Wade. We believe him. Don't you, Senator Collins? Ultimately, the Senate will have to confirm any nominee, with Maine Republican Susan Collins now targeted by new ads from an abortion rights group. Yes, an abortion rights advertisement gets news coverage on NBC because it fits their narrative. Now, you know what doesn't get coverage? That's when three men believed to be illegal aliens are suspected for kidnapping and raping two teenage sisters. Oh, and there's also a national manhunt going on Thursday night. But NBC Nightly News decides they don't want to cover it. Instead, they give us this. For Tony Hawk, this is the big 5-0 and his birthday present to himself, capturing 50 of his most epic tricks. ABC's World News Tonight ignored this issue as well to spend more time to fawn over... 44-year-old Patricia Akumu climbing the Statue of Liberty, toying with police for nearly four hours. Now, I'll give some credit. At least CBS Evening News was the only one of the big three networks that dared to tell its viewers. Investigators believe the men are in the U.S. illegally. U.S. Marshals and ICE agents have joined local police in the manhunt. The suspects allegedly kidnapped and raped the girls last Thursday. Now, why would the liberal media decide not to cover this manhunt for the most part? Why would they decide to leave it alone? Could it be because they're only interested in pursuing life sentences? for those they don't like. But we're not gonna let these people go through life unscathed. Sarah Huckabee has no right to live a life of no fuss, no muss, after lying to the press, after inciting against the press. These people should be made uncomfortable, and I think that's a life sentence, frankly. And that will wrap us up for this week's Wacky Moments of Liberal Expression. I'm Eric Shiner for MRC-TV. I'll see you again next week.